So my career actually began in dietary supplements and natural health products. So that was one of the reason that I wanted to make sure that I have knowledge and understanding of overall uh, entire e- like different areas in regulatory field as such. And in 2019, I uh, there were like uh, they were still offering US, Canada, and EU. So I had it in my mind that, okay, I would do US, then Canada, and then EU. That was the sequence I had. So mainly it was because I was in, I started my career in dietary supplements, natural health product, and I wanted to like advance my career in different areas, uh, biologics, pharmaceuticals, or either medical devices. I'm, uh, I want to learn everything in regulatory affairs, which is impossible, I mean. Um, but I would try as much as possible that I can learn in uh, because it's a vast field and not just drugs, biologics and medical device. There are other areas associated in regulatory field, uh, regulatory affairs, which I think not all the professionals are still aware about. So it's uh, there are so many different things I want to do. And that was like a rack was first step towards it as a uh, in the beginning of my career. Uh, for preparing RSE exam, I mainly used the book uh, from RAP's website. I purchased that book and that's how I started working on it. It took like around four to five months for me to like fully understand. So I used to like read the chapters one by one and again go back to the same chapter and reread it. Um, and ask questions to my colleagues and my manager. They were very supportive to like help me understand. My manager at that time had like 15 years of experience in medical device industry. And I had like uh, and done like a nine months of internship. So that was a huge difference that uh, and support I got from my colleagues and my manager that I used to go with like a couple of questions that, okay, I'm not able to understand this, like how could this happened like we are doing and going uh, when I'm working and I'm seeing certain scenarios I'm like okay we are working in this way so how did we how are we able to like go through this way but the regulation stays this way and all those stuff like started coming in my head and also like different regulations started coming in my head regarding regardless I wasn't working in medical device but still like okay this is class one class two, class three, how they were classified and what are the, um, how, how do we strategize that? So that was like a uh, good learning for me as such, uh, not only in medical device, but biologics as well as drugs. And um, that helped me to uh, study well, um, interacting with the colleagues and like asking about certain scenarios that what could happen if we go this route or that route and strategizing it so mainly like going through the chapters and like uh, using your own um, analyzing skills Uh, that's how I prepared for REC and yeah I also did like some practice exams um, and used to uh, even there are like some quizlets available on Google if you uh, Google quizlet quizlet track then you get like some online flashcard kind of a thing. So that was something I used to do every day for like 10, 15 minutes so that I can get used to the questions and the scenario. So anyone who wants to uh, diverge their field and expand their experience in regulatory affairs or even like strategize certain different, uh, understand different regulations, it is very uh, good to have rec. certification or at least prepare for it because it gives you an overall uh, understanding about clinical non-clinical operations as well and like all the different guidances that FDA is updating different kind of uh, advisory meetings or like there are so many different things that if you go through each chapter you get to know how this law was uh, came into effect and everything uh, the same way if someone is into uh, uh, healthcare policy making industry it would also help them that because uh, there are like so many different ways and right now with the advance of technological uh, era it's 
it's very necessary that we have understanding of the previous regulations and how that came into effect so that we can have the new regulations uh, developed 